I'm James Knight from RG Allen and Sons at the Sisters in South West Victoria. We have a family farming operation six kilometres south of Mortlake in southwest Victoria, 35 minutes north of Warrnambool. So high rainfall zone, 650 mils of rain. We're a perennial pasture-based system or grass-based system. On this property door knock, we operate 983 hectares. Here we're joining approximately thousand cows and are a beef breeding business. The steer progeny go through to feeder weights and are sold to a feedlot in the Riverina. Surplus heifers are typically sold to export and surplus cows go into Melbourne to be processed. Georgie and I came back to her family farm middle of July 2016 and we recognised reasonably early that cattle yard infrastructure was reasonably inefficient, not very safe and probably could have been better from an animal welfare point of view. So over the first couple of years, we did a fair bit of research and came up with what we thought was a reasonable design to develop this site. It was a hell of a lot of money for a young family that were having a crack at an old business, but what really attracted us to Thompson and Longhorn was their ability to recognise the value in the existing infrastructure. The other thing I really liked about them is that they could give me some fall to keep the site clean. The other benefit was they could clearly explain to me where the steel was coming from and what sort of quality it was. I did a fair bit of work and analysis on this as we were doing it. I knew that we were processing about 40 or 45 head an hour and my base case was that we'd double that or a bit more than double that and move to, we'd inject and weigh around 100 head an hour. So yeah, we, we ploughed ahead and when I look back at that base case where I said we'd inject and weigh 100 head an hour, we're probably exceeding it by about 20 or 30%. And these yards have just enabled us to do so much more so safely with the animal welfare in check. It's just been a genuinely good investment for this business. And I truly believe that the business and the business's bottom line will be better off for having animals being treated and processed through facilities like this. <laughs>